Hey everyone, welcome to Weld.com. I'm Man Cub. Today we're going to try all these different crazy techniques uh, with MIG, short circuit. I know you guys seen them on YouTube, Instagram, so we're going to try all these crazy different techniques. I hope they work. We're in the search for the perfect dime, so let's go ahead and try these. The first pattern we're going to do is the standard old straight push-pull straight line technique. So we're going to go ahead and do this one first. This one I'm dragging, we're just doing a little straight standard old school drag pull. All I'm doing is pulling the trigger here, light it up get the bead the size I want it and just try to go steady as I can keep it the same size all the way down you're going to be looking at the top toe the bottom toe and looking right at your root all the way down all right just, that's all you want to do all right here you guys have it uh, old generic drag push str uh, stringer bead nothing fancy but we're here for one thing uh, making dimes and making a well look sexy so let's go ahead and find the perfect dime technique so we're going to do the cursive W or cursive E. This one is my personal favorite. Pull the trigger at the beginning here, let the puddle build up. And we're just going to move forward and do a little cursive E. And just make sure it's overlapping by half your little orange puddle there, you see. So just keep doing that. Make sure you're pulling up on the top toes the same size as the height of that top toe of the previous like little weave you did. Same thing with the bottom one. Make sure you're using that as your little depth or bringing your toe out. That's like your imaginary straight line right there. That'll tell you how far to come out. Come back up, do the same thing up top and right there. And that'll tell you how far you got to come up and go down. And that will keep you very consistent all the way down. All right, this is uh, my personal favorite. It looks pretty good. Got dimes, dimes all the way down. I could have paused a little bit longer on the toes. Um, but besides that, it's pretty good. That's my favorite. So we're going to move on to the next one. The next one's the cub tooth. So basically, you're going to start on... Start right here on your piece of metal, step forward, go on the top side of the T-joint, come back down, come, come on the bottom plate, and we're just going to keep doing the same motion. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. All right, I'm just letting everyone know this is not my favorite one, the cub tooth. Pull the trigger, let that puddle build up, and you're just going to step forward, pause for a second on the top, let that uh, puddle wet out a little bit, because when, when you pull it back down, gravity uh, will take that away and you'll get undercut. And just go down the bottom and hurry up, come back up, and do that same motion. Down, step forward a little bit. It's a little harder this one is. This gave me problems. All right, here we go. We got the cub tooth. So it looks it looks all right. I could be a little bit more consistent, but I'm doing that little Jagger half moon thing. So uh, we did pretty good. No BBs here. The machine was tuned in, and we're looking all right. I mean, it's not the dimes I want. We could do better, but it's not bad still. Up next is the triangle. Uh, I think this looks like a little sailboat, but that's me. So we're gonna go down diagonal go back diagonal go back down and we're stepping forward diagonal again and we're going to just repeat that all the way down so we're going to light up on the edge of the plate uh basically you're going to step forward right when you step forward and hit the root and as soon as you hit that root you want to step back that tells you you got to go straight back right away at a 45 and come straight down and you're going to do the same motion come straight down look where you just left your uh, weld you want to kind of keep it the same same width and then you're going to as soon as you hit that bottom, you're going to shoot forward at a 45. And you're, all you're doing is stepping up to that middle of that joint. That's it. Then you're just going to shoot straight back at 45. Make sure you're overlapping that weld a little bit because won't, you won't get that dime effect. And you're just going straight down. That's it. It's pretty simple. I caught on to this one pretty quick. And you just keep the same movement all the way down. This one actually shocked me. I kind of like it. Everything is nice and uh, uniformed here. A little spatter. My arc length was a little bit off because I got uncomfortable. but. It took me about three tries. The first two, I was like kind of like messing up. The camera guy really helped me out. He kind of drew the technique on a T-joint. And the third time, I nailed it just like that. Appreciate it, camera guy. All right, on the stitch, most people use this one to try to keep their uh, hand steady or keep their weld consistent, their bead. So this is more of a common one that a lot of people use this one too. I'm doing a push technique. I think it comes out better. Moving forward, stopping, let the puddle catch up to me and let it wet out on top on top of the plate and the bottom of the plate. And then just coming forward about an eighth inch and let the puddle catch up to me and letting it wet out the size I want. This is a stitch. Um, remember guys, the weld really don't have to be no bigger than this plate. Um, so we're nice and consecutive here. Uh, ran real good and hardly no spatter. Really consistent. I'm kind of straight all the way through. Well, I am really straight. You can tell all the way through. So this one's pretty simple. Everyone uses this one. So let's let's do the last one. On this last technique, I really just made this up yesterday. I'm not BSing you or nothing. This is uh, 
my own little technique. I haven't seen none on the internet. I looked all day yesterday and looked all day today. So let's go ahead and show you my personal technique. So on my technique, I basically come up like this and I whip forward. I go slow right here and make sure I'm connecting right here to that previous bead or previous little dime looking and coming back up, whipping forward, coming back up and just keep doing that. I'm going kind of slow, but not as slow as this up here. But the bottom kind of takes care of itself because gravity pulls the molten puddle down. So just going like that, that's all we're doing. All right, now I'm just drawing a, a cursive L or a cursive E, coming down, doing the E, stepping forward by an eighth inch, really fast, filling that root, and coming back and make sure I'm overlapping half of that little uh, dime size weld. But I'm pausing up there a little bit, kind of slow, and then coming back on the bottom, kind of going slow, but not slow as the top, if that makes sense. Then coming back and whipping forward a little bit, or moving forward by an eighth inch, and we're just coming back like a slow arch rainbow. And we want to let that top fill us up. And just come down a little bit slow, not slow as the top, and move forward. And that's it. Nice and consistent. All right, this one looks pretty good to cub. I mean, it looks so good. I don't even have to wire brush it. I didn't get no BBs. Um, I mean, there's not much black smoke. Uh, it looks really good, nice and consistent here on my toes. Both of them. Uh, got my crater filled in good. I mean, everything looks great. This is the cub. I hope you guys found this all interesting, all these different types of techniques. I know I did. I learned a lot of different things. Uh, I found new ones, like the cub. I made that up yesterday, practicing for you guys so I could look better at welding here. So the triangle, that's my second favorite now. And the old reliable is the cursive W. That one's my favorite. If I want to rely on an x-ray test, I'll do that one. Uh, let us know in the comments below what's your favorite out of the, out of the six. Uh, let us know on Instagram through well.com. Let us know about your technique. Show us pictures of it because I want to see them and I want to learn. We need to learn from everybody. Hey, remember guys, learning is key. I'm Man Cub. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below. All right, the, bink, the bell, the little red square. Definitely do that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Man Cub. Stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you.